predecessor and successor. When you add 1 to any given natural number and the next number you get is successor. For example, the successor of 15 is 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. And the successor of 18 is 18 plus 1 is equal to 19 and so on. The number 15 comes before 16. We say that predecessor of 16 is 16 minus 1 is equal to 15. The predecessor of 19 is 19 minus 1 is equal to 18 and so on. The number 5 has a predecessor and a successor. What about 4? The successor is 5 and the predecessor is 3. Does one have both? A successor and a predecessor? No, there is no predecessor of 1 in natural numbers. We can count the number of children in our school. We can also count the number of people in a city. We can count the number of people in a country. The number of people in the whole world can also be counted. We may not be able to count the number of stars in the sky or the number of hair on our heads. But if we are able, there would be a number for them also. We can then add one more to such a number and get a larger number. It is now perhaps obvious that there is no largest number. There are many other questions that can come to our mind when we work with natural numbers. The number 1 has no predecessor in natural numbers. To get whole numbers, we add 0 as the predecessor for 1 in the collection of natural numbers. The natural numbers along with 0 form the collection of whole numbers. Now, we can define successor and predecessor. Successor The successor of a whole number is the number obtained by adding 1 to it. Predecessor The predecessor of a whole number is one less than the given number. Let us try the basic operation.